Well, look at all this, guys. This guy called me up and said, look, I got a bunch of stuff for you. You want to come get it? He even gave me this ladder. All this stuff right next door. I've been there before. I picked up a whole bunch of antiques there. <coughs> Big heavy metal table. Just before that, I went over to this guy's... Excursion. Look at this old barrel that he gave me. This bucket. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, I'm talking about big pieces. Thick, thick stuff. So this is the high dollar stuff. Look at this one. Look at that goodness right there. I'm talking about that is a big old piece of aluminum. <coughs> what we got here. Yeah. Wow. So, anyways, uh, he gave me all this stuff. And and uh, told me, okay, so I called my guy. He said he'd give me 70 cents a pound. There's got to be at least 100 pounds of it right there. And then this guy here, after I came there, I went here, and this guy is giving me every bit of this stuff. Every bit of this is all a bunch of heavy steel, a bunch of antique parts and pieces. I just put a, I just put a piece of chain somewhere in here. Where is it? Oh yeah, that big old massive. I mean, massive piece of chain right there. It's a big 15 foot long chain. Fat. And he told me, look, he says, go in this building, and if it's made of metal, you take it. Unless it's something that you think I might want. And I was like, well, what, what kind of stuff do you think that you might want? Um, and he pulled out a couple things, and I don't know what he did with them. I guess he took them. He said, anything electrical, oh, this here, he took that out. He said, I want that. If it's an electrical equipment, but all of this stuff, he said, I want you to just take it if you want it. Take it. So I'm going to empty. Look at all this brass. I'm going to empty all these drawers. Goodness gracious. What a haul. And my cameras all went dead, so I'm going to have to do this with my iPhone. Um, but yeah, look at that. So, I'm going to start taking this stuff out and loading it into my buckets and pouring it into the back of my truck for now. That's what I'm going to do, guys. Check it out. Amazing. I said I could have the old Huffy. Um, look at this weight. With these weights. And look at them things. He told me I could have them. He said I could have that weight bench type thing there. And there's another weight bench right there. He said I could have that whole thing. He said if it's metal, take it. Including that lawnmower. So, I think I'm going to call up Freedom Mowers. For the old snapper, because them things are, are nice. Take all the the brass and put that in one bucket. Brass, brass, more brass. Yeah, if it's made of brass, throw it in that bucket. Look at the goodness in this drawer. I can't even believe it. Look at that. Everything's brass. Grandpa here, the mega honey hole today. No, look at that old antique pieces. This all came from his dad. His dad passed away and he said, I don't really have no use for this stuff. And if you want it, just take it. And so he brought me over here and said, whatever you want, take it. I'm done for the day. You have a good day. And I'll give you a call. Next time I get a bunch of stuff put together. I said, well, that's great. He said, go through, just go through the building. Take what you want. It's made of metal. Anything like it. It's okay. That's amazing. So if it's made of metal, I'm throwing it in my truck. Some of this is all heavy steel. This will be added to my head. Anything that's made of aluminum or brass. We'll throw it into that bucket. That's aluminum. Yeah, I know that's brass. And it's just interesting going through this drawer. Aluminum. 
Ooh, nice piece of brass and copper. Blessed today, buddy. Blessed today. Back of my truck and start throwing out some of this stuff in it. Goodness gracious. Copper. Heavy steel. Drawer deep. A deep drawer. All the goodness, guys. I don't even know what you're going to grab a hold of. Some old caps. Okay, so that's all steel. Take all that. He said he wanted that too. See that? He said, see that? Something like that. T tag on it. It's kind of brand new. I'll keep that. All that other crap, just get rid of it. Don't even know what that is. Okay, some steel. It's in this drawer. Like drawer after drawer after drawer. This is all considered heavy. Heavy prepared steel. When you see stuff like this. I'll put this in all by itself. Sell it as prepared. Look at that nice piece. I'll probably save that. Somebody might be able to do something with that. More tools. I save old tools because I have a lady in downtown Southport that buys old tools, stuff like that. It's an oldie. Look at the goodness. Gosh. You don't even know. You don't want to go away because you have no clue, guys, what I am getting ready to, to run into um, in these drawers. I mean, he told me. Spend all the time. He said, are you in a hurry? I said, no. He said, spend all the time you want to in there and get every piece of metal that you want. It's yours. Take it. I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I mean, don't guys. How often does somebody do that? Look at these old tools. These are old antique tools that have been used. Lead. Lead. Look at the size of that thing. That is it's some kind of a tool. Got a tool. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Look at that. Wow, that's antique. Some old tools in here. Oh, saws all blade. Yeah. That thing. Some brass. Look at that. Washer. Yep. Guys, looks like I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna be here for a while. I'll put this all this heavy steel in my prepared pile. Goodness. Yep. Oh my goodness. This. Wow. Jump. Say huh. don't know what that is. Could be interesting. My truck out in the middle of the road.
the drawers. Oh man, you need to have your stuff. Oh my word, oh, it's full of nails. That thing is full of nails that I'm sure he has absolutely no use for. Sorry guys, you're in the road. So, it's probably 50 pounds of nails. I think the best thing we can do is start carrying them fit a truck. I don't think, don't think it's anything he wants. Bunch of nails for nothing. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Look at all this goodness. There's still more weights in there. Bucket full of brass parts here. Bucket full of brass parts here. So, trailer full of goodness. Got some major aluminum right here. I'm gonna sell 70 cents a pound. I'm gonna sell this ladder. And that aluminum back there. I could not get it all. <coughs> I couldn't get it all. I mean, there's more weight in there. My truck is literally sagging. Uh, my uh, my trailer looks like this. My truck and trailer look about like that right now. So um, I told him, I said, look, I've got to come back for some of that stuff. There's some big stuff there. I'm going to need help, especially when I'm going to try to get that big snapper lawnmower pulled up into my trailer somehow. But anyways, so uh, I called him and said, look, I'm going to come back because he had already gone. He just left me in there and said, take what you want. Um, I want to make sure that I make it to Southern Metals today uh, and my other buddy. I have two places I need to stop to sell this stuff. And I still got to get home. I'm, I'm home by myself. So my dogs, my dogs only have me. So hopefully there's no poop in the house. Generally, they do pretty good. I um, haven't had any problems yet, but you never know. So scrap with grandpa. What's next? What's next? What's next? Make sure you slam that subscribe button. And hit that bell notification because you never know what's next. I just picked up some brass that I have to process. So that's one of the things that's going to be next for sure. Scrap metal, Southern Metal Recycling. That man is good with that magnet. Pull it right out of there. Watch that, right in the middle of that thing. Ooh wee, Lord have mercy. Another busy day at Southern Metal Recycling. Another busy day. We are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my doors. Let them pull this goodness out of here. I almost kept them steps. I'm not sure why, but I almost did. Just to put them in the ground where it's maybe a little soft or muddy, but it's steel. It's just gonna rust all up. So to heck with it. All right, we are ready. If she pulls out, we're gonna pull in. Get a little bit of strap action. Pulled out my aluminum, but I'll get it. I'll get it back in there. Swing matter. Yeah, he pulled out my aluminum, but I'll get it. He didn't see it. My aluminum. I'll get it. I'll get it. I got a nice big bucket up right up here in the front. He won't get that though. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. You got a foot. You got a lot in there. But yeah, that's gone. Trash. Trash. Yeah. Let him have it. Look at all the nails. A lot of nails. Look what's in the back of my truck. Alright. Look in look in here. 
Y'all gave me all that stuff. Wait. You got it? I'll add this footage to another video. Beautiful. I'm dropping off the last of my stickers. Did I have, I just ordered 200 more, but I got some uh, Scrubman 69. I got some Big Country Older stickers. I got his new stickers and some of my stickers. But this is what I had left of everybody's and I'm going to leave them at the place today. Awesome. How's it going, my brother? What's going on in the yard today? Place is busy. Appreciate you, my brother. Have a blessed day. Thanks, man. No problem. No worries. All right, guys. Small day. About like yesterday, really. About like yesterday, as far as the scrap metal part uh, goes, anyways. Place is jamming today. How did we do? My name is Sue. Scrap um, metal is still at a daggum measly seven cents a pound, which is craziness, but uh, not too bad. I did uh, like 1,100, 11,400. My total was uh, right at 1,100 pounds at seven cents a pound. So yeah, not too bad. $73.60, guys. Now I still have all that other goodness that that I picked up though still got all this I mean that I'm thinking these weights I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to sell some of them weights and I got 400 pounds of them things in here got a whole bunch of brass I got a whole bunch of aluminum that I still have to get rid of and some nice stuff a ladder so yeah. so that little bit is not really bad because I still haven't dropped off everything yet I got one more stop if he's there and if he's not oh well i'll roll right on because my dogs need me hopefully they haven't pooped in my house yet damn it they don't usually so just cut my grandpa what's next definitely not gonna not gonna complain with the 73 bucks because uh just before that my very first load was the fencing this morning i brought fencing in for a guy i didn't make what i wanted to make on that job actually i was disappointed I didn't realize that the fence was going to cost $75 to drop off at the landfill, and I only charged the man $125. Although he helped me load it, it took me maybe 45 minutes to put it in the truck. Um, I still had a couple hours in it, so I guess I made $20 an hour. So I won't complain about that either. So $70, $80, $90, 110 is what I made today. It was $110, and it is... It's already 3.30, but everything in the back of my truck is all the bonus. I probably have another $80 worth of aluminum back there, maybe more. Find out shortly, hopefully. And uh, some brass that I have to go through. So I'll be making a video of scrapping all that brass down into number one, clean brass. From dirty brass to clean. So stick around, guys. What's next? Thank you guys, everybody. I have 8,300 and some subscribers. I want to thank every single one of you. I'm going to be at my 10,000. I know I am. I'm going to be 10,000 before Christmas. And I hope to make it there before Christmas. And I'll tell you why. Because I have a big giveaway coming. And I want everybody to be able to get their things before Christmas or for Christmas. So guys, help me out smash that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber I'm trying to get 10,000 before and if you want to be part of it smash that subscribe button and make sure you watch my videos so you know when I put that video out because I know it's coming before Christmas subscribe more grandpa what's next big things coming if if you haven't seen my new copper rounds that I had made from Scorpion Metals on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel, Scorpion Metals. He has a laser, and this thing is a, this thing is amazing. If 
you haven't seen him making all these copper rounds and silver rounds for these YouTube channels all over the place, this guy's going to be big. Greg is amazing. Thank you, Greg, for everything you do for my channel. I'm glad I got to meet you several years ago. He's actually the first YouTuber I ever met. Him and um, who else? Greg, what was his name? I met Greg. NC, NC. What are them things you use to look for metal in the ground? Gosh, I can't believe I can't remember. But I met them together. They actually came to my house together. We went out to eat some lunch. Um, NC metal detecting. He uh, didn't stay, but uh, Greg spent the night, and uh, we went and did some uh, dumpster diving uh, the next day while he was with us. So I have some dumpster diving videos with Greg with me, his wife too. So we've had some good times. Um, I guess that's about all I got to say. I'm starving to death. My wife's not here. I got to go home and cook or get a fast foods. My dogs need to be fed and taken care of, put out out in their poo yard. I guess that's about it. Scramble Grandpa, what's next? Go check out my bacon, uh, my water bacon video. I'm telling you, if you like bacon, you will not be disappointed if you cook your water in bacon just like I did on my video. Go check it out.